Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2, DEI Divide et Impera, here today on the channel. We're back with episode 2 of our Massalia submodded Let's Play. We're going to be kicking things off straight away with a battle against the Volke in Tolosa. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Alrighty, welcome to part 2 in this campaign. So, we've managed to take out the Volke in Narbo, successfully moving into southern France, and we had a successful fight against the Volke in Tolosa in the last episode, but unfortunately due to our economic situation, our food is very, very low across our burgeoning republic. So we've taken a lot of casualties through attrition, and now we're going to try and push against the last of the Volca here in Tolosa. And also, on a massive cliffhanger, the Roman Republic has declared war upon us. I think because we have managed to take a decent amount of territory in, quick, in quite quick succession. I think there might be a script because the Punic War will be erupting with them shortly. So we might need to negotiate with Carthage. All right, let's move into this position. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't win this order resolve here, so we're going to have to manually play it. But the main objective of this series is to build a Hellenic France under the Massalian banner. We want to spread Greek culture ideals, architecture, and the gods throughout this land of Gaul. We might need to give it a new name. What's a cool Hellenic name for, like, all of Gaul <laughs> once we make it a utopia? Let me know in the comments. But we are outnumbered 10 to 1 against these barbarian tribes. Every single battle we fight is nearly a 2 to 1 or a 3 to 1 ratio. So it's a tough campaign. Here come the Volke of Tolosa. Just wanted to speed things up here in the editing process. DEI is always a long campaign. I don't know if you hear my neighbour there going ballistic <laughs> with some sort of machine tool. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, anyway. Okay. So we might just need to Slightly move up here to skirmish. Alrighty. There we go, a bit better. Okay. So, they seem that they're going to allow us to skirmish them. Still sitting in our defensive position. We are a Hellenic faction at the end of the day. So our strengths lie in our ability to be defensive. We talked about the brief history of Massalia and the Volcano in the last episode. Oh, I've stuffed up here. Unfortunately, one of them has been caught. Well, actually, we might be able to turn this to our advantage. One of our units has used all its as their general unit has now moved up. Might be able to bait him in. Oh, nice. We are putting a lot of pressure and damage on him. But once we get rid of the Volca here, we should have all of this province firmly under our control. Then we can deal with the Romans. I hope they don't just start swarming us. That would be incredibly annoying. But you never know. The player led bias in this game can be a bit iffy. Okay, they're gonna charge again here. But it's not the hardest campaign because economically we're a really strong trading powerhouse. A lot of nations are sort of meh, sort of on good relations with various Greek factions. Our unit roster is strong, our buildings our and trade. I just think 
you have to be really careful. You got to be slow and meticulous in this barbarian hellscape. You really don't want to overextend, but getting them there might that might actually work. Come on. I want to try and kill their general. I don't know. This is actually tough. We've kept our casualties to like below 2k in the last two battles. But we're going to really struggle for this one. And the food situation hasn't helped either. I'm just waiting for, for them to charge. And then we've got to deal with the barbarians in Bertigala, which is a whole other challenge. Probably the biggest if not one of the biggest barbarian settlements in Gaul. All right, here they come. They're starting to engage now. Let's try and hold the line. But unfortunately, my hoplites are a little bit tired and fatigued. They've fought three battles this year in quite quick succession. My mercenaries helping out my god I think he just put an axe hilt through him <laughs> what a crazy animation okay so they're really focusing on that left hand side One of our units has used which is concerning ammunition. it's actually not bad of a tactic it's interesting the AI is doing that now we fought a couple battles against them where they've just hit me flat on but we're still redlining and corner camping But now they're focusing on the flanks, which is where we're a little bit exposed. I'm going to move a unit up here, which is a little bit more mobile. We need to get rid of their general unit. It's a cavalry. I believe the Volke at Narbo, actually. Their general unit was a phalanx unit, wasn't it? We'll at least try and remove him from the battlefield. Still focusing on that right hand side. Okay. I need to give out some attack or attack orders here. To surround this blob. Because they're just going to eventually break through. No, he's under attack. We need him to cycle charge. Okay. A little bit of a complicated fight, this one. Okay, I'm just trying to lock in here and focus. We're on the offensive slightly. Oh. The enemy general is dead. Oh, perfect. Far out. 
That was such a close engagement. I think we got the RNG. I think we're good now. Look at my general unit. He's only got like 15 oh, left. <laughs> it could have very well been me losing my general in that fight. Come on, swing right here. Oh, we're so lucky. Far out. We kept our losses to a minimum. But that food shortage, we've only just managed to skirt. Actually having Massalia as a unique port and not allowing us to get food in kind of stifled us actually. Let's continue to try and run down as many of them as we can. But we've won. Three close victories. 500 lost then. Outnumbered by a thousand still. We'll take the W on that. Skirmishes did a bit better. Hoplites won 80. 96 on the high tier. And that should be Tolosa under our control. One Hoplite unit, one Peltas lost. Nothing too crazy in the grand scheme of things. So a close little nifty battle there. Xenon, a two-star commander. Okay, I think we're good. I think my neighbor has taken a break from renoing his house. <laughs> I respect it. The Australian dream. Out there with an angry grinder. <laughs> Middle of the day. Okay. Well, I'm recording on a Thursday. <laughs> I respect it. Okay. So, we should be able to take Tolosa here now. So funny. Get thrown into the modern age. Listening to machine tools. We should be focusing on the ancient. Okay, so, can I try and make peace with Rome? No. Expansionist, reliable. They're only at war with me? Oh. And Epirus, of course. Still not interested in peace. Okay, we'll try and mobilize... ...more units up. Oh yeah, so we stopped that recruitment. And... ...we'll try and bring in those additional reinforcements. And now we should get a good order resolve and then finally take Tolosa once and for all. We're going to better occupy the valuable olive resource. We might even be able to trade some of the olives we get from the groves to the Romans for peace. But now we're going to have to constantly keep an eye on them crossing the border to Ligeria if they take Genoa and amphibiously as well. We can now brought in an edict. We can go with a 14% tax increase. That's probably not a bad idea. Or we also could maybe sell slaves actually because we did manage to accumulate a fair few. Got some riots, yeah. So we probably should, yeah, we definitely get on, should get on top of that. Okay, right, let's go with a olive press there. Let's upgrade the strategic port at Massalia. Because it is a unique building. And I guess we look to move our spy northward to Bertagala. And it's still 50 turns away before we can get upgraded Hellenic units. But yeah, that's a shame. I really didn't want to get dragged south and eastward in this particular campaign because like I said the main objective of this series is to build a Hellenic Western Empire in the lands of Narbo, Aquitaine and Gallica essentially. Can we try and negotiate with some of these various factions? Syracuse actually likes us. Can't form an alliance with them. No. Alright let's continue on. Welcome to the top of the turn. Oh, Genoa. Oh, Ligeria is at war with Rome. Okay. 
Let's move you slightly up. Um, let's try and move some of these weaker units here. I want to try and get a better army build going. More hoplites and then the peltasts. I want it to be a little bit more streamlined and organized. So I want the Massalian hoplites there and then I want a bunch of early peltasts as well. Just in case we need to control a merge. There's no point of getting rid of those four units. Because it's just recruitment time. But I do want to have a standardized army, as it were. I think they're better units as well. Alright, um... I could move my spy to Rome, but I think we want to move to Bertagala. I want to have a look at what they're operating with. So, Gaul... Or the Arverni, which is the, the Gaulish tribe everyone knows. So they have the gold mine up there in Nemo. Um, so we've got to keep an eye on them. I'll move my... Wait, Magna Gratia secured. Still dealing with a food issue. Okay. I wonder if they're going to move down into Syracuse. Oh, can I get a defensive alliance with them? Maybe. They're at war with Carthage, though. Military access. Your words bring satisfaction to the Man, if we could send support, assets, and material to them, that would be hilarious. Still can't seem to get trade with anyone. Uh, maybe when we start getting those olives in. Okay, so Rome really doesn't like us now. Oh, they're at war with so many factions. Four now. They are expansionist, of course. Okay. So we're getting a little bit of a picture here. With what's happening in Gaul. Uh, let's move Xenon to Massalia. We've got the secondary army in Nabo, and we'll try and get a full stack because they still fear Roman occupation. They might look to move into Cisalpine Gaul, taking Madeleon and Genoa, but hopefully we can make good relations with both Ligeria and the Encerberus tribe. If they can be a buffer state between us and Rome, that would be ideal if we could send them trade and goods and support their independence. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But I can't foresee, what, even two full stacks marching into Massalia and taking it if we've got a full stack in there ourselves and a navy. Massalia is just such a strong defensive position to hold and take, like the actual city. Okay, so we're now growing. I think I might move north, actually. Because look, Genoa and... They're basically, the barbarians to our east have like a stack each there. Maybe we're better off going against Bertigala before it gets too big. Uh, probably should check our... Check out the Celtiberians down there. I don't know. Is it worth keeping a full stack there? Like now that Ma Masali is upgraded, if we move this in, seven units plus the garrison, that could hold off a Roman full stack, which is probably what they're wielding. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. Olive press is now being complete. Uh, we're going to be able to get a champion, so we can move him into... Our army. We can actually get another two. We can get another dignitary as well, but that's not... There's no point of getting that until we take Bertigala. Another city in a different province. Okay, let's move my spy just south real quick. I can't get any more hoplites there. Got a baggage train, which would be nice. That will seriously help out our ammunition. But after those three fights, we're in a position now where we can simply invest into the old barbarian settlements and start bringing in that Hellenic culture baby <laughs> research has been complete in the civic side uh, let's move you down to Taraco oh they're under siege interesting by the Abdani okay so the Celtiberians are fighting with each other the Visca. 
So they're at war with, war with a few factions. Let's move the hero in to get military training underway. That'll give us some really nice movement and experience bonuses. We can just get a lot of young skirmishes there. They might be good to pad that out if Massalia was to ever get attacked. And we are still remembering to put some of our money into our navy. So although the Etruscans have been defeated, they might be still dealing with Epirus and then Carthage soon. I'm surprised they're at war with me, to be honest. Okay, let's end the turn and continue. 275 Spring BCE. Welcome to the top of the turn. Some of our ships and ships have been built. Yeah, so they're getting pulled into high tensions in Sicily. The Consenti have been destroyed by the Abdani. Oh, they're becoming quite strong. But they want trade? Oh, they do. Jeez, I'd accept that if I, if I can get this deal done. Can I get some money from them? Uh, maybe just trade and non-aggression. Let's get that done. Excellent. If we can secure our southern Pyrenees border, the last thing I want is to be marching over there. And if we can start getting good relations with some of the Celtiberian tribes, we can focus on other barbarians. Okay, let's move to the border. Yeah, maybe I just move those two armies and take a bit of a risk. I think the Romans are too distracted. Because we're going to need two full stacks to take Bertagala. As a settlement just on its own, it's difficult. Let alone a full stack hovering about it. So, we'll try and increase this to 20 units, ideally. But we might go with 17 or 15 or so. Our governor's good. And we're slowly but surely converting the populace there. Alright, well... Unfortunately, on that note, it's time to wrap things up. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed episode 2 of this Rome Total War. Rome 2, DEI Divide et, in Ro uh, Divide et Impera uh, Massalia, submodded campaign. Although we're at war with Rome, it seems like their attention has been pulled down towards the Syracuse and Sicily crisis. They've managed to crush the Etruscans. I feel like they're probably dealing with Epirus still as well. Um, but although they're at war with me, they're distracted for now. And we're going to make plans and preparations to go and try and take Bertigala. Have our first piece of territory on the western seaboard in France. So like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Stay tuned for episode 3 coming out soon. And uh, thank you for all the support on this Massalia Hellenic series. I'm having so much fun recording this daily Let's Play, and I hope you guys are enjoying watching it as well. Alright guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.